Jesus Christ, our Savior and Redeemer, crucified for our sins, was buried and rose from the dead the third day, immortal God, satisfied the righteous law of God, fulfilling the scriptures, redeemed forever all who have and will believe on him, defeated the powers of darkness, death, and Satan, will return in the air one day to remove his bride, the church, as he promised in Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because you have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And by his mighty call from heaven above, the dead church saints will rise first in newness of immortal life, and we who believe on him and are alive, changed as well to immortal in an instant, shall follow them up to be with the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with our Lord, and he shall lead us into the presence of God our Father, in perfection he has completed in us, and proceed to judge the lost world for seven years in ever-increasing intensity and wrath, until he returns to earth from the heavens with his bride the church, having been joined to him above in eternal matrimony, and with a mighty host of angels, he alone will defeat all unsaved sinners, which are his enemies then living, removing them from the earth, cast Satan into the bottomless pit, leaving all living tribulation saints to occupy the earth, together with resurrected Gentile and Jewish saints, of all ages, including the tribulation, to complete the first resurrection, bring in the kingdom of heaven on earth, and rule the world from Jerusalem for one thousand years. May God bless the reading of his word.